Hey guys, so in today's video I'm gonna be applying products on my face that I've never used before. Basically, I'm gonna do a full face of first impressions. I usually prefer filming in the morning and it's like it's 6 p.m. now and look at me, I'm filming a video. That's exactly how much I enjoy filming those kind of videos. They're so much fun. So without losing any time, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime my face using the In Transit Camera Close-Up Mask Moisturizer and Primer in one by the brand this works I got this in my look fantastic advent calendar and I really wanted to use it so today is a good opportunity it looks like that it's like a white cream it smells like roses if you guys haven't watched the video that I unboxed that look fantastic calendar I'm gonna have it down in the description box so that you can check it out this feels very very smooth oh I also got it on my hair it's a little bit thick I mean, I can feel it sitting on my skin, but um, my skin also feels like really ready for the makeup. <laughs> okay, next we're moving to foundation and I wanted to try this so much. Um, I went to the drugstore yesterday, I got it. Um, this is the L'Oreal Cushion Foundation. I have it in the shade, um, what is the shade? I think that this was the shade three. Okay, and then inside, oh. I feel like this is going to be a little bit too dark for me. Should I use the, the applicator that it comes with? Let's give it a try. Oh, okay. Wait. No. Oh. It's a little bit dark for me. Maybe the shade 2 would be better, but the lightest one that they had was 3. So. The applicator is kind of good. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it's very thin. I mean, it's it's super thin. And also, it's um, kind of small. It, it's gonna take me forever to do my entire face with this. Which um, makes me want to dip my Iva brush inside the foundation. So, let's see. Okay. Well, that might be a little bit too much. And it's also melting into my skin, like it doesn't look cakey or anything. The coverage is light to medium and the color is, um, it's not very suitable for me. So moving on to some concealer, I want to use it on the areas that I had some blemishes and the foundation didn't cover them up and oh my god, I look so orange. <sighs> It's okay, I'm gonna try to make it work. These are the ColourPop No Filter Concealers and I recently received them. I unboxed them in my in my video where I was unboxing PR packages. Okay, so I'm gonna use the shade 20. I've heard really good reviews on this product. Really wanted to try it out. I'm gonna use my finger to blend it out. I think that the shade is good, it's kind of matching the foundation and it's also covering really good. Switching to the shade number 10, I'll use it as an under eye concealer and I'll also brighten up the, the foundation with it. There are so many products that I'm using for the first time, I don't know what to expect from them, I'm feeling kind of like a newbie with makeup. Um, Oh, hi. <laughs> it's so stressful. I really hope I don't look like a mess by the end of this video. But um, anyway, moving on. I have these um, two powders here. This is the banana powder by Bella Pierre. And this is the Fit Me by Maybelline. This is their matte and poreless powder. So I'm gonna start off with this one. The only thing that I'm a little bit worried about is that um, it can be very yellow for me. So I have some on my brush and I'm applying it under my eyes. Ow, ow, that brush was so close to my eye that it actually touched it. Well, it's not that bad. I was expecting it to be a lot more yellow, to be honest with you. Okay, now let's try out the Fit Me by Maybelline. I'm gonna apply it um, on my cheeks. Oh, wow. Where did my texture go? I had so many visible pores in this area right here and now it's like, it's like a baby butt. Oh wow, this powder it's so, wow, it's like it's 
melting my texture. That's really impressive. Maybelline that's such a good job here, but I think that it's a little bit too dark for me. Um, I have it in the shade Classic Ivory. Not sure if they have a lighter one, but if they do, I'm ordering it. I'm not getting like super oily throughout the day. Um, I don't know how it will work on oily skin, but so far, the fact that it it made my, my texture disappear, like, wow. Now, what are we gonna do next? Let's do some eye makeup. Now, I'm applying some of that ColourPop concealer all over my eyelid. I'm gonna use it as a primer. I had to do my eyebrows. I totally forgot. And I'll set it with that um, Fit Me powder by Maybelline. Wow. Okay, let me just do my eyebrows before I start applying eyeshadows and doing fun stuff on my eyelids. I really want to try out the e.l.f. Active Sweat Resistant Mascara and Brow Duo. They recently came up with... Oh, wow. What is that? Look at it. Like, so thin, right? What I was saying is that they recently came up with products about working out and trying to keep your your skin glowy and healthy after working out before working out they sent me this one they also have their post-workout cool down mist this is their post-workout cleaning body wipes i mean it's kind of weird but uh, it's a good idea so let's go ahead and try out oh this is a mascara um let's go ahead and try out the the brow product i'm gonna brush my brow hairs upwards it's very nice and thin, but it's also very uh, not stable. Like, I can't push it and run it through my brows to really press those hairs and... I don't know. Not really sure about that. I really hope that the gel is good though and keeps my hairs in place. But now, we're moving to the Ico Game Strong All-in-One Brow Definer and Brush. All of that in one. So here is basically the brush and they have the product in um, this side i'll use the shade light i'm gonna like run that through my brows i'll actually switch the to the shade medium so i'm dipping the brush inside i don't know if you guys watch my unboxing video but look at the product inside it's it's kind of unusual my eyebrows came out a little bit darker than how i usually prefer them but um, so far, I like the product. It's really nice and pigmented. Let's do some eyeshadows. I'm really excited for this part. Can you guess which is the eyeshadow palette that we will use today? Can you? Can you? Can you? <laughs> I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. They sent it to me. I never used it. And today, it's time to make my eyeshadow brushes dirty with it. I wanna do some kind of a um, purple look today. I don't know. That's that's how I'm feeling. So, I'm taking this Zuiva 231 brush and I'll take some of the eyeshadow coat Eden. The mirror that it has inside, it makes me happy. I'm gonna apply that eyeshadow in my crease. Alright, next on the same brush, I'm taking the shade called Amethyst and I'm placing it lower in my crease. I'm not sure what look I'm gonna come up with, I'm just playing now. But what I know for sure is that I wanna keep the the eyelid area a little bit more light and maybe shimmery maybe i'm gonna add some shimmery eyeshadows on my eyelid but so far we're building up the the crease color now i saw this eyeshadow here called royal oh i also switched it here on my hand and i was like hmm i want this on my eyelid i'll add it in the outer corner of my eyes Maybe I'll switch to my finger. Yep, see, much better. This is not going to be the first time that I'm gonna use this glitter glue, but I think that it will make the lid color just pop and look absolutely stunning. So I'm taking some of it on my brush. I'm using, I don't know if I said what I'm using, but this is the NYX glitter primer. I use that almost every time that I do my makeup and I'm applying it in the um, inner half of my eyes and then on top of it I'm adding the eyeshadow coat Twilight oh, so pretty it's good 
gorgeous. I'm so happy with how this look is coming out so far. I hope I don't mess it up. Now I will take the, the shade called Desert Sand and I'm gonna apply it in the inner corners of my eyes and on my brow bone. This is more like a nude color for me. It's not really highlighting, but I like it. I kind of want to finish up the lower lash line and I will, but I really can't wait to use the Maybelline Master Precise Curvy Eyeliner, Liquid Eyeliner. What is this? <laughs> I guess this is the applicator of the, of the eyeliner and uh, yeah. Let's try it out. Feeling really nervous about using that, but I may end up really loving this. It feels like I'm using Sharpie to do my eyeliner. Uh, let's see if I can do a wink with that. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that was really easy. Okay. I just need to remember that I need to breathe, you know, so that I can keep on living. <laughs> you guys, I never thought that I would say that. I was really skeptical about this product and I was so wrong. I feel really bad, but it's really convenient to work with this applicator. It's it's really good. The product itself is not very intense black color, but this is really easy to work with. Okay, now let me finish up my lower lash line. I'm gonna use the Sigma E20 and I will do a mixture of these two shades here. I'm gonna smudge them um, under my lower lashes. Now that we're talking about Huda Beauty, we're trying out her eyeshadows, let's also try out her lashes. Um, I'm gonna use this pair, it's called Jade. Never used her lashes before, so I'm just gonna glue them on really quickly and we're moving on to the face. I'm gonna contour my face. I'm gonna use this Get Picture Ready Contouring Palette by Essence. It looks really promising, it looks like I'm gonna like it, but... Uh, you never know. I think that this color here is a little bit too warm and this one is a little bit too dark for me. So I'm gonna mix them. Taking a very small amount of them on my brush just because usually the drugstore face products like bronzers, contouring powders and blushes, they're a little bit more pigmented than what we really need. So just starting off with really small amount and uh, if I need some more, I'm gonna build it up. I'm gonna also bring it on the top of my forehead. Oh, well. I'm sorry, neighbors. I'm really sorry. I hear a baby crying. Do you think that I woke up there, baby? I'm so sorry, neighbors. <laughs> Okay, that's not that bad. I think I need a little bit more light hand with this, but so far, not bad. I'm not really a blush girl, but I have this blush ball here by Essence. I got this really long time ago. I'm not sure if they still sell these, but it looks interesting. I don't remember if I used it before, so I will assume that I never did. Well, that can be a highlighter, you guys. <laughs> what is that? Baked blush, silky texture, easy to apply. Yeah, but it's a little bit shimmery for a blush. I'm not really sure about this. Well, it's a little bit too shimmery to be a blush, to, to be honest with you. Maybe this is a highlighter, but why they name it blush? I mean, see with big bold letters here, blush. Why? If it's a highlighter, you should name it highlighter, not blush. Don't know why brands are doing that. Oh no, wait, hold on, hold on. I actually... If it's like that shimmery, I can use it in the inner corners of my eyes to add some shimmer. Yeah, it's super shimmery. This is not a blush. They tricked me. 
it has some pink shimmers in it i like it with the eye look it looks good but um as a blush no no talking about highlighters and stuff i recently received this package here from sigma and i want to try out their highlighters they call this palette chroma glow so let me just dip the brush in this shade right here it's called peaceful this is beautiful i'll actually mix it with the shade next to it ambrosia I'm taking only the shade Ambrosia in the inner corners of my eyes on top of that Essence blush. These highlighters are beautiful. Okay, and on the lips, I want to do this combo here. This is a lip liner by Melt Cosmetics. It's called 1979. This is again a lipstick by Melt Cosmetics. It's called Chick Habit. So let me just line my lips first. And on top of it, I'm going with the lipstick. Look at that wand. Oh boy. I decided to go with a little bit more bold lippy with this look. And this is the first time that I'm trying out a liquid lipstick by Melt Cosmetics. And to be honest with you, it feels really good on the lips. An issue that I have with matte liquid lipsticks is that um, I hate when they feel drying on the lips. This one doesn't do that. Now, last, I want to spray on my face the e.l.f. post-workout cool-down mist. They say that you can wear this under or over makeup and use it throughout the day. This smells good. It was not a good idea inhaling that. Uh, but it smells really good <laughs> and this is the finished look guys um let me know what you think about it i really hope you like it i was very surprised with that maybelline eyeliner i mean i thought that it would be a horrible experience applying eyeliner with this but i was surprised and impressed and all of that the only thing that i find not good about this eyeliner is that it's not a really deep black color the Huda beauty palette is also really good at least the shades that i used i'm really happy with how they came out but let me know if you want to see another tutorial with this palette i would be really happy to try out some of the other eyeshadows oh you know most of the products that i used today were um the one that i unboxed in my previous video no not in my previous in one of my previous videos i'm gonna have the link down in the description box if you guys want to check it out i was basically unboxing pr packages also some of the products i got them myself because i really really wanted to try them i like that uh, l'oreal foundation but the color was just not not the right for me so i'm gonna order a new one because here in bulgaria the lightest shade that they had was three and number three is a little bit too dark for me and i assume that online i can find shade one or two if that's how they have um, the order of their shades but i'm really happy with how this look came out if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet make sure that you click that subscribe button and also don't forget to press the bell button next to it because that way you're gonna be notified whenever i post a new video you can follow me on my instagram facebook twitter and also visit my blog all of the links will be down in the description box i want to thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you in my next one bye